Hey guys, welcome back to my full house. It's been a minute. Um, we've definitely had a roller coaster of sickness going on in our home. Lots of colds and people just not feeling good. So it's been quite some time. Um, I think ever since we went to my husband's side um, when we had a funeral we had to attend to, it just has been this roller coaster of our kids and then us not feeling good, just colds and things. So anyways, we're uphill now, thank the Lord. Um, so I thought I'd come and share with you guys my 10 week and 11 week update on my pregnancy. Today is Saturday, so I am 11 weeks pregnant today. I can't believe it, you guys. I really feel like it's just, you know, flown by. Um, definitely had his challenges though, you know, with, you know, your, your kids not feeling good and then yourself and things. So it's been a lot, but I'm here to say that, um, pretty much again, you guys, it's just been me being tired and nauseous. So not a crazy amount has changed. Um, I've been drinking a ton of tea lately um, so I feel like that's been really hydrating for me um, and just very soothing to the body. And I definitely could say I've lost weight. <laughs> um, I haven't gained. I've definitely lost. But I feel like that's kind of common for me for the most part. Um, because, you know, when you're nauseous, who wants to eat? So, I've got my little one over here, so she's watching Kokomo. Mabel! Mabel, baby, what are you doing? Yeah, you playing and dancing? So, um, the other ones are all outside playing in the backyard right now. I've got my espresso frappuccino. So good, guys, if you like frappuccinos. They can put espresso in it at Starbucks. So I went ahead and got one of those today for myself. A sandwich earlier too because, you know, as it gets harder, um, it just, I feel, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely more challenging to force myself to like eat something. So when I was out, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to pick something up real quick. But, um, so, I mean, I really don't have a big bump. I mean, it's there. But here, I can show you guys a little bit. Um, let me see if you get a better view. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit of a bump, but um, nothing drastic, you guys. I mean, really, not crazy big. But anyways, um, I am only 11 weeks. I cannot believe it. Like, in two more weeks, I'll be going into my second trimester, like, it's definitely flown by, um, but again, it's definitely kind of been a little stagnant too because of just everybody not feeling good and things, so that could be really challenging and overwhelming. I think that was like my biggest hurdle was just, you know, trying to take care of everybody when, you know, mama don't feel good. I mean, how are you going to do that? So, but we do. We do it, and um, sometimes you have tears, sometimes you're frustrated, and yeah. But um, what you doing, Mabel? Hi. Oh, you're going to give kisses? Oh, you're so nice. Oh, you have a, oh, you have a heel cow, a mommy cow and a baby cow. What's a cow say? What's a cow say? Moo. Can you say moo? You can do it? Can you say moo? Mabel. Moo. Moo. So, I can't believe it. She is going to be one in, what, like a week or so? So, December 4th, so you do the math. <laughs> um... I don't even know what today's date is, 27th, 28th or something. It's bad, you guys. I I don't know what date it is. But, um, 
Yeah, so I'm just trying to finally get this house back in order because you know when your kids don't feel good, it's just, you know, it's either the kids or the house <laughs> in the sense. So got to take care of them. But they are all outside right now playing with the puppy. Me and Miss Mabel are hanging out inside. Thought I'd give you guys a quick little update while it's kind of quiet inside. Um, and then just trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I haven't had a taste for anything. I haven't really been hungry for anything. So I feel like that changes, though, in my second trimester. I just start, like, wanting everything and anything at that point. So I don't know. But um, I have not had my first appointment yet because of, you know, everyone having these colds and stuff. I just have not made it in to do that but I do plan on making that sometime this week um and we'll see what happens because I will like to have that first ultrasound appointment that you normally get when you go in um and I'm way past you know the limit I think you go in around what 10 weeks or something so I mean I'm 11 weeks by the time I get in there I'll be like 12 or 13 weeks so I'll pretty much be my second trimester but Anyways, um, is it cold? Yeah, They're yeah. all coming back in now. <laughs> is it too cold? No, it's fine. You stay out. Is it cold? Well, it's better. It doesn't even have a hat on. Oh, well, she can put her jacket hat on. That's okay. Tell her to put it on, though. She has to come in. Because it's cold. We don't need anybody sick. Uh-uh. No more sickness. Uh, uh. No. No. Yeah. So we wanna get that ball rolling on our school and start cooking those better homemade meals, huh? I didn't even cook Thanksgiving this year. That's goes to show you how crazy it's been. So hopefully I'll do that, or we'll just roll right on into Christmas dinner and call it a a good Thanksgiving dinner. So anyways, um, but yeah, I, I had not cooked this year. My mom actually brought some food over for us, which was super, super sweet and kind of her. Um, and so we, we had that this year. Um, and I just, again, you guys, I had no motivation to do anything. I mean, so, I'm hoping that this second trimester will be obviously better for me. Give me that. I mean, they say you have more energy in your second trimester, but we'll see. I do have two videos coming up for you guys. I The last video I think I did was our Walmart haul for the kids' clothes. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely well needed. I think people just don't realize when you have so many children... I mean, I think they have an idea, but I don't really think they understand. It costs a lot of money to take care of a large family. Um, and you can go to Walmart, which is great, but it's still going to end up costing you in the end. You're not going to walk out with like spending $200 for eight people on things they need to keep warm for the winter. But, you know, um, to each their own and, you know, good mamas out there, if you've got the time to go to thrift stores and really do that budgeting, more power to you. I'm more of a sanity mom. I just want to get some good deals the best I can, but at the same time, I do not have the time to scramble through all these types of things from a thrift store. So, um, maybe in the future, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in to my 10 and 11 week update. It's been quite the journey. Um, so I hope that I will catch up with you guys at 12 weeks and hopefully have some different updates on my pregnancy. Um, thank you guys so much for being supportive and watching my channel. Um, it's definitely been a blessing and I will see you guys soon in our next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.